Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the 11th in a series of video tutorials for Unity 5. So in this episode we're going to be carrying on from where we left off in the last episode. And if you remember, we created this very simple weapon and we created it to hit an enemy. So I'm hoping this episode doesn't drag on too long because there is a little bit of scripting and some explaining to do as we go along. So we're just going to get straight into it. So firstly, if you remember from last episode, we in our project settings, in our input, we had a function called attack down here. We're going to use that again in this episode, so just keep that in mind. So firstly, what I'm going to do is for now, I'm going to input an object, a 3D object, and I'm just going to do, um, let's say, capsule for now. And this is going to be our very simple enemy. So I'm just going to move it along and down to about there for now. So I'd say that will serve as our enemy. So next thing we need to do is we need to put on our FPS controller and then the first person character, we need to right click and create empty. And I'm just going to right click and rename this one to um, call it attacking. It's just an empty game object which is on our player just so we can store um, a script on there. So you go to add component. Uh, in fact actually let's make sure we're in scripts folder first so it creates the script here. So on the attacking add component, new script, make sure it's JavaScript and I'm just going to call it attack script. And then Oh, it's it's gone there anyway, but we can move it. So uh, double click to open up in the good old Mono Develop. So what we're going to be doing in this script is we're going to be using a function called Raycast. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more about Raycast as so when the script has uh, loaded, let's delete everything it gives us as we always do. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set just a few variables. So the first one we're going to set is for our hit points. So var hit points and it will be an integer. So int and we'll make it equal to let's say 10 and then semicolon. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create a variable for how far it is to our enemy, to our target. So we need another variable. And we'll call this one to target. And we'll make this one a, a float because it will never uh, be a whole number, an integer, unless, well, you do get that straight on, but it can go to several decimal places in Unity. So we do need it as a float, not an integer. Next, um, we need to see, uh, or we need to specify the maximum distance allowed for our attack to hit. So for example, if we're stood very far away and attack, we don't want our enemy to be hit. We only want it to be hit if we're next to our enemy. So we need to set another variable, and we'll call this one, uh, let's call it range. And this one will be a float again. And we actually want to set this to a relatively low number. So I'm going to set this as, let's say, 5 for now. And we can adjust it later on if that's still too far away. So now we have our three variables set, we need to start our function. So function, lowercase f, remember, capital U on the update, uh, brackets, and then open curly bracket. And we need to do an if statement now. So we need to specify if we are pressing the actual attack button, which we set as the letter P. So if input dot get button it's auto filled again <laughs> make sure that does say input get button down and uh, we call it attack remember the double quotes there um, over, uh, close bracket twice and then open our curly bracket so we need to set a variable here and I'm just gonna call this one hit just to keep things nice and simple and this will be uh, Raycast hit. Now, Raycast, um, 
theoretically draws an invisible line from where the script is attached to, in this case our game object, which is our player, and it draws a line to see how far ahead any object is. So if our enemy is, let's say, um, we'll, we'll call it in meters, is six meters ahead, Raycast will return a value saying it is six meters ahead. So we need to work um, with this one. And we also need to put another if statement here because we need to um, play with the physics a little. So if physics dot raycast and then we, oh, it's autofill the game. I do not like autofill. It's as though it thinks, oh, this is what you want, but no, it isn't. Uh, so we need transform uh, the position. Um, let's see, transform, and here it should be capital T on that one. Transform direction, so it's firing it straight now. And vector three forward. So this just ensures that we are kind of facing forward, as it were. And we need to reference. Our variable there. So essentially, this is basically saying, are we facing forward and hitting it? And basically, is this our enemy? Um, so we need to reference our second variable, which, if you remember, we need to see how far it is. So to target is now equal to hit dot distance. So that is making our second variable to see how far it is the actual distance to our target. And the next line, another if, I am sorry about these nested functions, raycast and attacking is not an, a particularly easy um, function to get right, so I'm not expecting this to work first time. If it does, bonus. So if um, we need to, to target is less than the range so what we're saying here is if our distance to the enemy is larger than our allowed range which we set as five here then it ignores it if it is lower then we do the following which is hit dot trans have i spelled that right yes sorry transform and we need to send message and I'm going to put something here which we will reference later on in this tutorial but it won't make too much sense right now but it will in a couple of minutes time so I'm just going to put deduct points in double quotes comma hit points and then uh, we don't require a receiver so just keep things nice and clean send message options dot don't require receiver so make sure you have your caps um, in the right place there every bit here is a cap so capital S capital M capital O capital D capital R capital R again uh, close bracket uh, semicolon and now we need to finish the script so we've got um, how many is it? One, two, three, four close curly brackets we need. So one close, two, three, four. Okay, so as I say, it, it can be a little bit daunting this part. It is a, it's not exactly a beginner's level to do this, but since we have written a few scripts before, I felt it was probably quite necessary. So let's save that script head back into Unity, and hopefully no errors have appeared yet, so we may have done it right first time. Um, for now, I'm going to drag this script into our scripts folder. Let's keep things tidy in our asset window. Um, yes, so let's head back onto our attacking and here we can see our script is still attached and we have our hit points set as 10 
to target is 0 and range is 5. So hopefully now, if we, um, in fact, I'm going to save that just in case. If we press play now, and over here, if we keep this here, when we click, uh, sorry, press P, we should hopefully see some numbers change, which they do. You can now see it's 32. So it is 32 um, distance to whatever we've just seen. So if we do it to the floor, it reduces itself. So that script is now working. We now need to set a script on our enemy here to enable us to realize, oh, that's the enemy. We must um, take off its health. So on this enemy, um, I'm going to add component, a uh, new script, and I'm just going to call this one really simple enemy script. Uh, set as Java, let's create, and double click, and we go into mono develop once again. So same as always uh, with a new script, just delete the few lines of code it already sets out for you. Just delete. So this script is going to be a little bit shorter and it is um, basically just taking off the enemy's health. So firstly we need to set a variable and we need to define the enemy's health. So enemy health and I'm going to make it an integer just to keep things simple. And let's set our enemy's health to 50. So, if you remember in the last script, we created something called deduct points. Now, that deduct points will be referenced here. So, function deduct points. And in brackets, we need hit points, and we need to set this as an integer. So int, and then open curly bracket, and I'm going to put a space there, and let's have enemy health minus equals hit points. So within this function, at each time it is called, it takes off the amount of hit points from the enemy's health. And let's close curly bracket there. And we now need, uh, sorry, a function update. So we need to check whether our enemy has actually got zero health or he will still be alive with zero health. So function update, and we need if enemy health is uh, less than or equal to zero. We need to do the following, which we've done um, before when we were collecting the coins, and this is just destroy the game object. And remember, it's a lowercase g and a capital O there. And let's uh, close the curly bracket on the if, and then close it on the function. So, save that script. So if you remember, our, the value of our hit that we made in the last uh, script was equal to 10. So theoretically, 5 hits and our enemy will be dead, as it takes off um, 10 points each time. So let's go back into Unity. Uh, I'm going to drag this enemy script into the scripts folder again. So now if we click on our enemy, Hopefully, when we press play, and go over to our enemy, you can see down here it's currently set as 50. So with a bit of luck, if we go to our enemy, and press P to hit, it reduces to 40. So let's try that again. Let's hit our enemy, and again, and again, once more, and it should disappear. Excellent. So we have now completed our scripting to attack enemies. So as I say, we go there, uh, up to our enemy, attack, 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 keep attacking, and it disappears. So all our scripts are functioning perfectly now. Um, so we'll leave that episode there for now. Um, 
In fact, before we go, what I will do is I'll quickly rename this and call it enemy001. Um, in future tutorials, what we'll end up doing is we'll replace the actual capsule with an enemy, and we'll replace our uh, weapon with an actual weapon, just to make things a little bit more uh, realistic. So, um, as I say, we'll leave that episode there for now. Have a play, create enemies, play around with the raycast function, um, play around with the scripts, and just see how you get with it. Uh, so, until next time, thank you very much for watching.